Hey everyone, today I have a Sinocare infrared thermometer I'm going to check out for the first time. Still 100% boxed as it was, so I'm going to take it out, take a look, and see if we can give it a try. So as you can see, still 100% sealed. See the seal right here at the top. So, we're already off to a good start. We have the thermometer, it came with batteries, and we have a little instruction booklet if we should need it. So usually these are pretty self-explanatory. The only time I ever really need the instructions is if I need to change between Fahrenheit and Celsius, things like that. But otherwise, here is our thermometer. No batteries have been placed yet. You can see it's compact in size, pretty lightweight. There's a button right here, and it like that's where your temperature is going to be taken at, and a little battery spot. So, just slides right off. Probably the most difficult part of this process is getting these batteries out of the plastic, which all already pretty much done. Just to all right, so batteries are out. Oh. They went in, no problem. I can hear it already kind of switched on. That piece snapped in place. So let's get a little bit closer. And there we go. Here's our thermometer. Still lightweight, even with the batteries in. And obviously it's gonna say low so let me just try on my on my arm I'm gonna check my arms to see if it'll give us anything so I mean obviously it should be for your forehead but that was quick I pushed the button and it was ready to go let's see I'll push it again um so it looks like it's changing each time, but again, this is my arm we're talking about, not my head. So that's going to be a little bit different. That's not where you typically will take your temperature. But otherwise, no fever, very quick at reading. So that's pretty neat. Um, so just as far as a quick unboxing goes and doing a quick little demo to try it out, I really like it. I like the fast reading. I like how it's lightweight. You can see it's compact in size, so very easy to store away um, between uses. It came with batteries, which is a huge plus because a lot of things don't come with batteries these days. Um, and then, should you need it, we have the instruction booklet, which will explain how to use it, the correct method of measurement, uh, and all that. And, just for the record, infrared, it shouldn't even be touching my skin. That was just quick. So, let's point at it. There we go. Look at that. So, not even touching. Just see if I can do this from the side angle for you. Ain't it red? Oh, my hand. So, don't. it's an infrared thermometer, though. Here I am going to try to use like a typical thermometer. So it works even not touching the skin as it's supposed to. So very neat. I'm going to have a little bit more in-depth review. Um, so I want you to go ahead and check out my blog post. That will be linked in the description for a little bit more details. You'll also have a link in the description on here as well as in my blog post to be able to purchase one, get a little bit more information about this particular infrared thermometer. But overall, I'm impressed. I love how quick it reads. I know I've said that, but um, a typical thermometer, even at its quickest that I've had, um, for the, at least with the touching, it still takes a couple seconds. You have to slide it across your head behind the ear, and by that point, that's how long it takes. Whereas this one, I aimed, pushed the button, had a pretty much instant reading. So, very impressive. And you can see after a few seconds, it's automatically shutting itself off, so your battery's not being wasted. So, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop one below. I'll do my best to answer based off my own experience with this particular uh, device. 
but so far so good and I'm really liking it so again check out the blog post a little bit more details information about this particular thermometer um, and a little bit more in-depth review I just want to kind of do a quick look at it y'all can get an idea of the size how it works how easy it is to use all that fun stuff so again questions comments go ahead and drop it below and I'll do my best to address them uh, based off of my experience.